I'm John Aldridge for DIYPhotography.net and I'm here with Ram from Canon Europe. We're going to take a look at a VR lens. DIY Photography's coverage of IBC 2022 is sponsored by Sennheiser, the future of audio. Sackler, producer of professional tripods. And B&H, the professional source. So Ram, you've got the Canon 5.2 f2.8L stereo VR lens. Tell us a bit about it. Yes, so this dual fisheye lens from Canon um, is quite unique. We're actually the very first company to have such a unique lens system uh, and it's designed to work with um, two of our cameras, uh, the EOS R5 that we have here and the EOS R5C. And the reason for that is that they are both uh, 8K cameras. And so this unique lens that we have is designed to actually project uh, it actually captures in 190 degrees, um, but it's actually projecting that image onto the full frame sensor of this camera. And uh, what we wanted to showcase is that this is um, a very, very simple solution in order to be able to capture 180 degree VR. Right, really. I mean, it, once that was announced, it made a lot of sense why the EOS R5 shot 8K. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so, and, it, and it's an f2.8 maximum aperture. Is, it, is the aperture fixed, or does it have two separate apertures, one for each lens? Uh, no, so it's a, it, it's a, at the widest end it's 2.8, but you can uh, adjust that if need be. So where do you see the main sort of application for this lens being? Is it like high-end Hollywood or independent creators, or where do you see it sitting in the market? Sure, yeah, it's a great question. So. The beautiful thing about events like IBC is that we've actually been interacting with so many customers. I've had customers turn up with their own VR headsets to actually show us content that they've created using this lens. Oh, great. And uh, some of the content that they're creating has blown us away. And they're creating content for whether it's um, uh, retail environments, for uh, real estate, for museums. Uh, the entertainment industry is huge for 480 degrees, uh, as well as education. And that's something that we're seeing more and more people uh, are wanting to incorporate, sort of like this new virtual way of education. And um, So what's the workflow like? I mean, do you, do you actually see 3D, 3D? I mean, obviously you don't see 3D, 3D <laughs> viewfinder because you've only got one viewfinder. Exactly. So yeah. does it? Do you just see the view through one eye through the viewfinder? Exactly. Or the LCD? Um, no. So uh, what you're actually seeing is because you have these two lenses and it's projecting to the rear of um, uh, to the sensor. What you're seeing on the rear oh, of the camera right. is you're seeing two side separate by side, side by images. Exactly. Ah. And so the way that the whole EOS VR utility is designed, uh, we want you can essentially put in your CF Express card, go out there, shoot, take that memory card to your computer, export that content into there. The EOS VR utility is designed to be a very, very simple uh, operating the, the uh, system. Yes, it is, yes. And so that will take the hard work of any, you don't need to do any stitching, it can de-squeeze that footage, you can export that and edit it as you would a normal video uh, in your NLE. And is that Mac and Windows? It is Windows, yes. It is, right, definitely Windows, probably Mac. Possibly Mac, <laughs> probably yeah. Mac. Um, and does that software work for 3D stills workflow as well? Yes, it does, yes. It does, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Well, so here at IBC, what we're sh showcasing is not only the dual fisheye lens, but also the R5, the R5C. We right. have the R5C here. We're also showing content that's been captured on the R5 and the dual fisheye lens. And we have a variety of content that's being created right. throughout sort of like our, our, our brethren across the world. Um, and we also have partnered with uh, Vario to show these off in some really, really high quality right. headsets. Sets. All right, brilliant. So the lens itself was announced about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the shows were only just starting to come back. Yeah. This, so, I mean, you've already had customer feedback, so this is already out in the wild now. It People is, can yes. buy it. What's the price on this? It's around two thousand. Around two thousand. And and even though it's sort of designed specifically for the ELS R5 and R5C, you can That's use right. it on the other cameras. It's just at a lower resolution. So interestingly, there's we've heard from many many customers of. Uh, all sorts of things that they're doing uh, to be able to create content across a variety of different uh, camera platforms. Officially, from ourselves, from Canon, we can vouch that you're getting the best uh, image quality possible from our two cameras, uh, but there are definitely people out there creating some phenomenal stuff uh, with other cameras as well. Brilliant, brilliant. So it's targeted specifically towards the EOS R5 and the R5C, which both shoot 8K. Yeah. Why, I mean, obviously there's a resolution benefit, but what's sort of the main driving force between specifically 8K? So, with regards to these particular cameras, like you mentioned, they film in 8K. 
uh, the way that the image has been uh, captured on the sensor, um, because again, there's two circular images, anything that's within the black area is uh, being thrown away, essentially. So you'd want to have as high a resolution as possible, so once you actually are viewing that back uh, on a VR headset, you're getting the highest resolution possible. Uh, if you were viewing this, if you were capturing content in 4K and then viewing that back, you're essentially halving the resolution. Yeah. So in order to get the absolute best quality possible, you know, we can't go any higher than 8K currently, so that's what we have. So it's here. similar to working with 360 cameras where the resolution mm -hmm. is the full view around you, but you're just seeing a, a slice of it. Exactly. The view that you're looking at. Exactly. So, right. yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. So after the EOS VR utility, like, what can you do in that? Is that just, is that just sort of initially processing and stitching the footage, or can you edit in that, or... So or? yeah, so it's actually designed for you to be able to manage the files yourself. You can view the metadata information, um, and uh, you can uh, view the content that you've shot. Uh, you can apply a LUT just to see if you've captured it within log uh, in, in the log profile. Uh, but the you have uh, the option of de-squeezing the footage, and uh, so that's actually the oh, right. the main feature of that that you want to focus upon because a lot of people are apprehensive about moving towards a VR workflow right. because there's usually a lot involved in that with yeah. regards to stitching etc and so forth and so this application is designed to simplify that. Once you've then exported that you then edit the content in Premiere Pro for example and once you've then done that you can then uh, view that content in any VR headset. Alright, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, so tell us a bit specifically about the EOS R, I mean this is the EOS R5. Yep. But you've got the new EOS R5C. Yes. Tell me some about some of the differences between the two cameras and why the changes were made. So, the EOS R5 is a photography first camera. Uh, and the R5C is a video first camera. So the R5C was designed to have the cinema um, interface also. So you can actually, when in photo mode, you have the same menu system that you have on the R5. When you are in video mode, you have the same cinema EOS uh, menu system. And so you have a lot of the same benefits that you would get from the cinema line. However, the R5C also has a built-in active cooling system. And so obviously a lot of people uh, want to film for a longer duration of time. And so with that particular system, you can do that. And another benefit with regards to VR, uh, where the R5C would be a better option, is that with this particular camera, you can, of course, do 8K uh, up to 30 frames per second. But with the R5C, uh, you can do up to 60 frame, oh, frames right. per second. Yeah, that's so, a lot better than VR. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, a lot of people that have perhaps viewed VR in the past but may get that motion sickness and that's usually when you aren't filming at sort of like the content's not at the highest uh, yeah. refresh rate. Especially if the camera's moving. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And so uh, if you are creating VR content and you want to get the absolute best out of the system then you'd want to be using the R5C at that uh, 8K60. Okay, brilliant. And what's next for Canon in the VR space? Ah, oh, watch this space, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, Graham, thanks very much. My pleasure, John. Thank you very much. So John Alder for DIYPhotography.net. We're going to keep looking around and see what else we can find. If you want to keep up to date on our adventures at IBC 2022, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to enter the giveaway to win over $12,000 worth of cinema gear, check the link down in the description.